The National Assembly has voted to confirm President Moon Jae-in's pick for Prime Minister Lee na Gyun, despite strong opposition from the main opposition party. The Assembly's Intelligence Committee, meanwhile, has also adopted a report on the outcome of the confirmation hearing for Intelligence Chief nominee So Hoon. That's an important step towards finalizing his confirmation. Kim Min Ji reports. In a plenary session on Wednesday, the National Assembly voted to approve the appointment of Prime Minister nominee Lee Na Gyun. Among 188 lawmakers present, 164 voted in favor of the motion, 20 against, while two abstained. Another two votes are invalid. But it wasn't easy getting the confirmation through. The plenary session was delayed by the major opposition Liberty Korea Party, which asked for the vote to be put off to a later date and ultimately boycotted the full floor vote. They've called the former Jeollanamdo governor unfit for the job and refused to endorse him. A sticking point was that the nominee's wife used a false address in the past to get assigned to a school of her preference as a teacher. It's one of the types of legal violations that President Moon Jae-in said would not be tolerated when nominating anyone to a top government post. However, some see Lee na Gyan as a good choice to promote Moon's reforms and to foster unity among the country's progressives and conservatives. Lee's confirmation will likely give some momentum to the Moon Jae-in administration still less than a month old. The prime minister, according to the law, has the role to recommend cabinet ministers who the president can then appoint. The National Assembly's Intelligence Committee on Wednesday also adopted the report on the hearing of Seo Hoon, tapped to head the National Intelligence Service. Unlike the prime minister, Seo's appointment does not require a vote. A string of confirmation hearings are coming up for nominees for the Fair Trade Commission, Finance Minister and Foreign Minister. And in the latest in efforts to form the new government, President Moon also appointed six new vice ministers for finance, education and others. For now, the president has been running state affairs with cabinet ministers from the previous conservative government. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.